Hello and welcome back to Schlegel Bricks. My name is Clay. Thank you for tuning in to another Stadium Mock Progress Update video. I've got some great news. We've got some more bricks in the mail. I've got even more great news. I finally figured out what I wanted to do with that press box. You might notice behind me, it's not there. There's a big space there. That's because I'm currently putting it together. It's about time I figured out what I wanted to do with it. I am now executing it. I'm almost done with it. Just needed a couple more pieces from this lot here. We'll slap it all together, put it back on there. I'll tell you and show you what I've done with it. Along with, uh, we're, we're gonna make some more progress beyond that too, because we got bricks to use. So let's not waste any more time. Buckle up, let's go. All right, so as you can see, the press box is finally done. I finally figured out what I wanted to do with that bad boy. If you remember uh, in the past, it kind of had a lower section like the suites do, where the seating is. I didn't know what I wanted to do in that lower section, and so I just finally decided, you know what, why don't we just cut it out? Kind of like how you see actual real life stadiums. Um, kind of have a little bit of a cutout for where the press boxes is. So that's what we did here added some kind of signages to the front. Uh, we'll figure out what we want to print on them in the future. I have a lot of like blank signs around the stadium, kind of there and over there. Just uh, future advertisements or like in this case, maybe uh, signs for like the, you know, radio or TV stations that are broadcasting the game, something like that. Uh, but that's what's there. Um, and as for the layout, I kind of have a little bit of a camera in the back there for, um, if you ever watch, you know, maybe for example, like NFL broadcasts before the game, you get a picture or video of the broadcasters in the booth uh, with the stadium and field in the background. That's kind of what that's there for. Uh, and the, you know, broadcasters would be kind of standing right, right there. So that's that idea. Then you have uh, some seating on each side here for you know the press <laughs> essentially to to write uh stuff about the game or uh you know write their stories create drama whatever over here is kind of like uh, another seat on, on the on the kind of in the back there kind of a little bit of a stadium seating type of setup uh for those seats over there so a total of like three spots for for press newspaper uh internet whatever you know, online blogs, whatever have you. And then obviously you have the, you have the, uh, the announcers that will be standing in the middle. So yeah, that's uh, what has been done for the press box. Interested to know uh, what you guys think of it. I uh, like the idea, mostly because it is now finished. <laughs> it's a long time coming. Uh, so yeah, I'm just happy I got that part done. And then getting the press box in allowed us to finally finish up uh, the exterior here of the suites for this home side. Um, kind of finish it off this this wall here that uh, protruded out. Didn't really want to cover up the the windows there, so just kind of sloped it off. Added a black tile kind of accent there. I don't know, it's all right. I'm not like uh, married to it or anything, but it's all I really could think of doing for that. <laughs> It's not the most gracious, but it is what it is. Uh, but anyhow, so we have these we have these slopes, inverted slopes here, um, and then on top of all the suites, you have these jumper plates, these one by four jumper plates that will help. Uh, all that will help support the upper deck foundation, which I will show you uh, right now. All right, so here's kind of a uh, mock-up of kind of the modular upper deck platform structure that I have um, so it'll be really easy to just kind of remove these you know they're essentially the same as the suites in terms of like I can pull each one of these off um, so 
like I said, way in the beginning, I wanted to make this stadium as modular as possible. It's not like completely modular, but as best I can, because it would be nice to potentially in the future, take this to somewhere like uh, Brick World Chicago. I think that would be really cool, but uh, that's not happening this year. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, like 2025. That would be that would be the goal. Uh, but anyhow, upper deck platform. You can see how it connects to these inverted slopes, and then obviously the the one by four jumper tiles underneath. You can't obviously see them on this one, but um, if we move over to the side, you can see kind of how it overhangs the suites. I think it's one stud short of how far the suites overhang the lower deck. So it's, I mean, it's pretty close to being basically just stacked right on top of each other. Um, so hopefully that makes it kind of a more intimidating feel uh, for the players, you know, down on the field there, having this upper deck kind of, you know, so close to the field essentially because it's basically very vertical and stacked. I've gone ahead and added uh, some more kind of half finished um, upper deck platforms to the rest of the side there just to kind of give you a better idea of how it all overhangs the suites there and how it looks uh, which in my opinion looks really cool <laughs> it's not even like the, the, the platforms aren't even done let alone you know the upper deck and the seating and everything so yeah uh pretty stoked with how this is eventually going to look but the cool thing is like i have the upper deck all digitally planned out like it's it's all built out digitally so all i have to do really is order the parts for the upper deck and so with that in mind like the upper deck's probably going to come come to completion fairly quickly hopefully but i'm telling you what it's gonna look it's gonna look so sweet <laughs> It is gonna, I'm, I'm just sweet, I'm just pumped just looking at this. This is awesome. <laughs> We're not even close to being uh, done with the upper deck, obviously. But yeah, uh, once the upper deck is kind of put on, just gotta finish up the kind of stairwell areas there on the side. And then once those are all done, uh, essentially all that's left is, is the roof and the scoreboard that goes over there. Uh, obviously upper deck on both sides by the way but like i said i just really have to order parts um because i have it all planned out the reason this press box took so long was because i had no idea what i wanted to do that's not the case for the upper deck so yeah things are going to move along pretty quickly here coming coming up not going to have any more delays like we had at the beginning of the year we're going to start getting this closer and closer to the finish line. And I can't not be more excited. Thank you so much for watching this update video. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate that as always. But most importantly, my goodness, stay safe, make good decisions, and keep on building. <laughs>